so the last time we washed the boat, uh, we noticed some dripping little puddles of water where we keep our cups and bowls and plates and things uh, in the galley. And I know that we have a little problem with this, these two stanchion bases that work at the gates. Um, got to take all the lifelines and the tarp down and everything in order to uh, pull the stanchion base up and re-bed it. Um, I was going to do that today. Then had the brilliant idea of installing gates. We originally didn't have gates on our lifelines. And as we're getting older, it's harder to swing our legs over the uh, lifelines than it was a few years ago when we did them. So we got some additional lifeline parts with gates and turnbuckles to go. Uh, we're going to put them on the port side since that's where the original bracket for our boarding ladder is. Uh, the boat didn't come with a boarding ladder. Apparently it got lost over the years, but uh, at some point eventually I'll make one of those so we can climb in and out of the, in and out of the boat from the water. So I'm going to take down the lifelines, got them loosened up, and I am going to install some hardware, cut the cable, and put all the gate hardware in. Pelican hooks, little swivel eyes, turnbuckles. These are all the Suncor stainless do-it-yourself lifeline kit that has the, uh, the little compression fitting, kind of like, uh, kind of like the uh, rigging hardware we put in for our standing rig. Uh, they're user serviceable, they're not swaged on, so you can take them apart, clean them, do all that fun stuff. Almost as expensive as our standing rig hardware. <laughs> These lifeline gate things aren't cheap. That's why originally when we uh, did the lifelines, we said, screw the gates, we'll just get the basic lifeline kit with fixed lifelines. The, shoot man, the Pelican hook's like 60 bucks each or 70 bucks each. The toggles, or the turnbuckles are pretty expensive. Uh, the gate eyes, the little linky hinge part of the gate, these things are freaking expensive. So yeah, it was a few hundred bucks to just for to add the two, gate hardware. For two gates. Yeah. For one gate on one side. Two gates. Two lines. Two lines. One gate each line. Yeah, it's a few hundred bucks for all the hardware. I'm getting ready to measure and cut the cables for the for the eye side of the uh, uh, gate kit. This is the fun part. Cutting? Cutting it in midair. I got nothing to suspend to support it on. Yeah, be sure to get this one filled. I am. This little piece here, there's the three-way jaw. This is what goes over the wire, and there's a little, it's got little teeth inside here. Those hold the wire. This fits on over here like this, and then the collar slides up and smushes them together, and it bite those teeth bite into the wire. Of wire 
wire here left over from where I cut out for the gates. So I gotta figure out how long to cut it so that they fit up inside that hole. And then you can use this threaded part to uh, tighten up the pelican hook. installed here's the gate swivels and then the receiving eye on this end and now we got a gate but it doesn't work too well with the tarpon wood 